Frank James and Psyops. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ramachakwadash. The most of my elders at Great Millstone taught me the truth through the Spirit, singing honest to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the saints of men, women, and children. I do consist of the one third. And to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. <coughs> Once again, understand this is another psyop through the spirit. That's how we're looking at things. Um, you know, he who controls the narrative can control the story. And understanding about the situation with Frank James, <clears throat> um, they say on the social media, he was saying how, I'm just going to say it the way he was pretty much typing it or displaying it, you know, black and white people shouldn't be with one another. He was saying that white people need to be um, done away with pretty much or talking about a reset. He's talking about him physically doing this. Um, there's been incidents where he spoke about being in a, in a fit of joy and Call himself a black nationalist and saying he's sick and tired. I mean, the man was also on the train and someone on the train was looking at him and something fell out of his bag. Like, yo, bro, what are you doing? The man was mumbling to himself. He said, oh, nothing. He pulled the, the smoke grenade or whatever it was and, and he shot people. And this man pretty much roamed the streets. Then I think he called Crime Stoppers on himself, and then he got locked up. Now, let's be honest, you know, um, <clears throat> in most situations like this, um, that individual would have been dead, especially him being a quote-unquote black man. And on top of that, I mean, this man called in on himself for the action he'd done, but he's supposed to be so incensed and upset with you know um the situation with um quote unquote black and white people that he took matters into his own hand but i'm looking at it all as a psyop you know like a, a psychological operation and there's also was a man in in um in new jersey who was talking about attacking um, the um, the uh, Orthodox, Orthodox Jews, I'm just going to say that for edification's sake. And um, I think his name was like Marshawn, Marshawn Dion or something like that. Dion Marshawn or something like that to that extent. And one thing we got to remember, you know, it is truth in the Bible. We Listen, remember, we're enemies of the state. We're enemies of the state because what we speak... It's truth. And like the Bible says, you can't do anything against the truth but for it. So, you notice how there's always hate crimes against us, so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. But even if one Jake, which I believe this is a setup, a sign oh, forgive me. <clears throat> but once Jake commits a crime, they want to, once again control the narrative and the story plaster his face all over the news right so this is john 7 and 7 and it says um the world cannot hate you but me it hateth because i testify of it that the works thereof are evil so we know that the world despises the hebrew israelites I mean, look at vocab malone to this day this man continues 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 to constantly try to quote unquote debunk or try to um, be in opposition to the doctrine started with the elders of Great Millstone that we teach. And there's nothing you could do against the word of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. When he comes to the realization he's not an Israelite, now he has an issue. And that's what's wrong with this world today. The so called Digo Latino Native American man, we're we're coming back to our heritage. We're telling you why this world is the way it is. We're telling you how you came into power. We're telling you why we were in slavery. And we're telling you what the God of the Bible has says about who you are according to your biblical nationalities. 
Like the so-called white man, woman, and child today will call themselves Caucasian to be politically correct. But according to the Bible, you're descendants of Esau, Edom. Right? So, with you being the rod of the, of the most highest correction towards the nation of Israel, well, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You know, you're being the wicked. You know, you're, you're setting up the lies. You're setting up the snares. You know, you find a way to try to trap us without having to physically come at us, which you will do eventually. So this is Psalms 64 and 1. Hear my voice, O God, and my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The secret counsel of the wicked, man. That goes back to um starting with, you know, going back to the uh the the the, the Clintons, the Duponts, the Bushes, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you know, because when you think about the badge on a police officer, right? It go it goes back to um the shield of the Rothschilds. All right. Going back to um, what's the name of the street? He had his his banking service on Juden Juden God, if I'm not mistaken, roughly paraphrasing, right? So we see an officer with a badge that represents them protecting the policies of the elite, but it starts at a it starts at a minuscule level, like you have the police force, right? I'm just speaking as a man, you know, police officer. Then you have the sheriff, state troopers. Then you have National Guard. And then you have, you know, the Army, the Navy. The, all those branches of the uh, of arms all protect the elite, the deep state, the people that you don't see that's behind the scenes pulling the strings, right? Who wet their tongue like a sword, continuing on Psalms 64 and 3. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. And wet, W-H-E-T, is uh, pretty much sharpening their sword. If you ever watch like an old ancient medieval movie where someone's like um, putting heat to a sword and banging on it and straightening it out. You know, that's like wetting a sword. And that's what they're doing with their words. That's what they're doing with their news outlets. Listen, the fourth branch of the government, because you have the judicial, the executive, and the legislative, the fourth branch of the government is the media. Because they already deem you guilty before even being innocent, right? Look at the whole Deshaun Jackson situation. Over 22 accounts of different women saying this man did such and such. They dropped it, but now he went. Now they want to get a civil suit. It's about money. It's about money. But now that that projection of that man is already up that people are going to always think that this man is a such and such a rapist or a, a, a sexual assaulter and he's and i'm just going to say to the spirit he's not his wife's still woman still with him and he has the biggest contract at nfl from the cleveland browns to be their quarterback when they're getting ready to get rid of um baker mayfield who was the number one draft pick about four or five years ago. So that says a lot. But in the media, they deem Deshaun Jackson to be some sexual predator when he's not. I say through the spirit, he's not. But nonetheless, they'll continue on. <clears throat> Psalm 64 and 4. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Who's the perfect? Remember, the perfecting of the saints. The elect. The 144,000 or one-third. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So they don't they fear not what they want or could do to us, right? They set up men like this. Remember the it was another matter of fact, it was another shooting, I think about a year or some change ago. There was a um a Jake and his wife or his his lady, whatever. You know, they shot two two um um small hats, two Jewish men. And what they do, they try to link them back to the Hebrew Israelites. Oh, these Hebrew Israelites and they shot and killed and like Vocab Malone hopped on that too. But see what they didn't tell the people was that they was in I forgive me, I think it was ISUPK or IUIC, one of those, forgive me. Like four or five years prior to that. And they haven't been doing the work, they haven't been in the ministry for years. And then all of a sudden they commit that crime because like, oh, they have ties to the black Hebrew. But it was like years ago. That's like someone saying that they've been um a Baptist all their life. But then they stopped being the Baptist five years ago. And let's say they started to become a Muslim. 
And then they go out and commit that same act. Oh, he was a Baptist. He's, he's tied with the Baptist church. This, yeah, but that was years ago. That's, that's pretty much what you're doing by trying to link those two individuals in Jersey with the Hebrew Israelites. That's what you do, devil. Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They could they commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? We see what you're doing. We have spirits of discernment. Because out of all the years, I'm talking about 30, 30 plus years, started with the elders, apostles to heart, a great millstone. As long as they've been preaching this word, they have never said, yeah, we got to get guns together. We got to learn martial arts. We got to learn how to um, live out in the woods off the grid so that when it's time for us to take the white man down, we're going to take him down. Never. All we do is preach the Bible. All we do is be in defense of the gospel. All we do is exhort, admonish, prophesy, examine ourselves. Everything we do is straight out the Bible. We don't come with our own doctrine. We don't come with our own uh, um, notion. We don't have our own um, modus operandi. Okay? Verse 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. So they they always steps ahead of us. Remember, it says the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. He set up over whoever he please or want, even the basis of men. Who's the basis of men? Esau, Edom. Read the book called the 13th tribe. Right? So, in addition, pride has deceived them coming from the Caucasus Mountains. That's why they have something called the Renaissance period, right? But anyway, verse 7, but God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Now, we're using our tongues right now, our mouth, but it was going to physically shoot out of them an arrow. In terms meaning a missile. Now remember, everything's parabolic, right? So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. I mean, we are already peeping through the scene. I mean, the internet is what's really exposing everything that Esau Edom is doing. And like it says in the, the book of Revelation, I think the 12th chapter, it said, knowing that they have but a short time, they're coming down with great wrath. Okay? And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing, which we do. We wisely consider the Lord's doing. And remember this, there was also images of this dude, Frank, was Frank James, smirking. It's like you got to understand, people, you know, understand the situation, understand the things that are going on at hand. We talking about the, we talk about America we're living in, a land that was built off of freaking rape, robbing, murder, and, and just every inhumane, detestable thing you could think of. And then now they want to try and paint us as being the freaking enemy, a predator. You see how the devil works, man? Man. And except in these days be um, short for the elect's sake, no flesh shall be saved, man. We need a savior. Ain't no way we can take down a nation. How, how the hell can we take down a nation that the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, set up through the Spirit, through prophecy? That's like Danielson trying to fight Mr. Miyagi. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Come on, man. Verse 10, the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. So we trust in Yahweh by Shema Rashi. This is, not going to, this is not going to deter us from our path, our journey to salvation. They're going to do all that they can to take us down, but that's not going to stop those chariots from cracking those clouds and, and Yahweh Shai taking your crowns. And then us getting crowns, Yahweh Yahweh Shai Ratazai. So this is just another psyop, you know. Another um another one of these tactics, or like Kwame Brown like to say, <laughs> good eat that dude. I don't know what's going on with him now. White boy tactics, right? Yeah, man. Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna just continue to preach his words. Nothing more we can do besides keep our pace, stay in the race, man. Okay. So with that being said, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashir Rachakadash. The most to the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Sing the honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sense of men, women, and children that do consist of the one third. Peace and blessings to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. On.